You are watching Uncommon History, stories that focus on unique and sometimes unknown New Jersey history. Brought to you by the Middlesex County Office of Culture and Heritage, the Middlesex County Board of Chosen Freeholders, and the New Jersey Historical Commission, a division of the Department of State. The Jersey Devil is one of the most famous legends of America. The immensely popular magazine Weird New Jersey recognized the homegrown demon as New Jersey's oldest, most enduring, and important pieces of folklore. Some New Jerseyans still believe it exists, and ever since the 18th century it has been sighted over 2,000 times, as far north as Patterson and as far south as Burley. It has been described as having the body of a kangaroo the wings of a bat, the head of a horse, and the feet of a pig. It has also been called a jabberwocky and a woozlebug. But how did this legend begin? In the early 1700s, in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey, there lived a craggly old Quaker woman named Leeds. She was the mother of twelve unruly children. Upon learning she was pregnant with her thirteenth child, she cursed herself yelling that she wished the thirteenth child would be born a devil. Apparently, she got her wish. In 1737, as the midwife prepared to bring the beastly baby into the world, Mother Leeds let out an ear-piercing screech, and just after the devil child was born, it devoured Mother Leeds, the midwife, and the rest of the family. After it finished its first meal, the devil fluttered its bat-like wings and flew up the chimney. That night, the Jersey Devil terrorized surrounding homes and snatched up young children. The local legend impacted the region so intensely, a religious leader exorcised the devil for 100 years. But the exorcism apparently did not work. The Jersey Devil returned. According to documents from the Killian Foundation, the United States government sent officials to the Pine Barrens to search for the Jersey Devil. It was even referred to as the Jersey Devil Expedition of 1812. Among the more interesting details about the mission was the description of a female Jersey Devil that crashed through the roof where the expedition team was staying. It was shot and killed. But a claw and tongue from the beast were collected. And according to the documents, the entire adventure was ordered by President James Monroe. Unfortunately, corroborative information has not been located to verify these claims. The Jersey Devil has even become part of popular culture. In 1982, the professional hockey team, the Colorado Rockies, was moved to New Jersey. Fans chose the well-known legend as the team name, and the team has won three Stanley Cups. According to the Pinelands Preservation Alliance, the Jersey Devil was named the official state demon of New Jersey, the only state in America with such a distinction. The Jersey Devil has been featured on two History Channel series, Monster Quest and Weird U.S. The sci-fi program Weird or What, hosted by William Shatner, focused on one family's eerie encounter with the Jersey Devil. The film The Thirteenth Child, starring Cliff Robertson and Christopher Atkins, was released on video on Halloween 2002. There are even groups dedicated to searching for the Jersey Devil, one of the most famous legends of New Jersey, and certainly America. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Uncommon History. I'm Douglas Almack. Uncommon History is brought to you by the Middlesex County Office of Culture and Heritage, the Middlesex County Board of Chosen Freeholders, and the New Jersey Historical Commission, a division of the Department of State. Visit www.co.middlesex.nj.us and search podcasts to hear other episodes in the series.